All right, so I got a slow leak in one of the air shocks in the back, and it's been doing that for a while. Sometimes it doesn't happen, um, but I'm getting tired of having to pull out the air line and fill this thing up manually every single time. So um, I'm gonna pull the Schrader valve, and then um, I'm going to attach a valve and then a fitting, and I'm just gonna run my air hose through the back here. I mean, go up to the harbor store and get me some parts. I got a 0 to 200 PSI gauge. Safety valve, that'll pop off at 150. Alright, so for about 18 bucks, I got a couple got a valve. A couple teas. And some uh, mail connectors. And a uh, industrial fitting. Air fitting. Okay, I forgot the 90. So I had to run back up to the hardware store and get spent another six bucks for uh, one of these. And then we'll put the one of these in here and make a way for this to go on like that. Something. Oh, just barely. Perfect. Oh, lame. That's not gonna get. Son of a. That maybe I could just do this. And uh, I'll just leave that like that. For so normally I'd have to pull out all this hose and fill it up uh, a little more manually than just turning a valve. So I'm going to take the smaller hose that doesn't get used too often. And just run it on over. And this is kind of temporary. I have a, another plan for this when I can afford it.
much better. That fills up so much quicker. Alright, well, we still got some sort of a leak. And a really slow leak right there, making the foam. Usually you'll see big old bubbles. <laughs> so whatever this red stuff is, I'm not trusting that anymore. I don't know if that's just to protect the threads or what, but I assume that was some sort of uh, thread sealant. so good on this end. I need to, need to let it sit overnight though and make for certain and uh, also I think there is another leak underneath somewhere because there should be you know there should be valves <laughs> keeping the air from leaking out of the airbags but these both airbags leak down somehow and here's the line coming in there's the old tank this somewhere around here is where the air compressor is supposed to be but when I bought it I uh, found it in a cabinet and it was all taken apart it looked like someone started working on it and basically I don't have it did not come with an air compressor so I, that's what I'm doing with mine I just gonna run the line over pump up the tank myself Makes me wonder if that's what's leaking. So, until I get a new compressor, this is what I'm doing. I'm just kind of, this is just a temporary setup with what I'm doing here. Leaking a little bit of air. Turn it this way it goes on. Turn it this way it goes on. It's like somewhere right in the middle. That's a sensitive little valve. I bet you that's what the problem is. The 
surprisingly comfortable under here. So next time, I, so next uh, paycheck, I think I'll replace this valve and see if that stops the airbags from flattening or going down on me. Next step would be getting power to that air compressor so I don't have to run the extension cord every time. And uh, we'll come back to that later. So anyway, thanks for watching. Have a good day.